Hi everyone, this is Robin Holstein and welcome to my first episode of Let's Draw. Today I'll be inking a pirate, so let's get to it. Arr! Hi everyone, this is Robin Holstein. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel, and this is the first episode for Let's Draw. Uh, I was going to draw a pirate today. See that? I did a, a digital sketch and then printed it out on uh, the Bristol board, a paper I like to use um, to ink on. <clears throat> um, there's going to be pauses and this is an open format. I uh, won't be editing as much, so it's going to be more like, a, um, I guess, the YouTube blogs that people do. Because um, once I, once ink touches paper, that's it. Uh, I have to just stick with it and keep going. Uh, I guess before I start, there's a few things I want to talk about. Uh, this is uh, the first episode for this. Um, there's going to be a lot of evolution. Um, in these videos and I just want to say that um, yeah just stick with me uh, I'm gonna be adjusting my format uh, things are gonna get better um, I order a lapel pin or lapel pin lapel mic so uh, you can pick up um, my voice better uh, but as of the moment uh, it's still in transit uh, so you might uh, also hear a drone that's happening outside and well you don't know it's outside but um, you'll hear a drone and that's because it's raining in California which is exciting um, and much needed so uh, with these uh, what to expect um, I'm just gonna be um, inking away um, these most likely are going to be inked, so I don't know if I'm going to be calling uh, this segment Let's Draw. It won't be drawing as much um, as it will be inking. And though, you know, I have had um, mentors in uh, the past told me try to treat your inks like it's just the next level of drawing. Um, so it has more of a nice spontaneity to it. <clears throat> and... Yeah, it's open format. I'm going to make screw-ups, but that's okay. Uh, so let's kind of get into this. Um, I will say I am using... Look at that. This is a Raphael um, 8404 uh, Kalinsky Sable Brush. Uh, I put a jelly on it so it can uh, so I have more to grip um, because these are actually really thin and I noticed in the past um, I start working with brushes and uh, it really cramped my hand after a couple hours so I just had to beef it up uh, this is I think this is the number one I think um, I could, I could, I wish I could tell you, but I covered it with the jelly there. So yeah, um, inks, just using a cheap speedball. Let me bring that in. Try not to spill it because it is open. Um, I, these are great because like the ink wells are awesome and you can buy like a 32 ounce bottle, um, like I have and just, and that will last a while and you can just refill, uh, these. I actually really need to clean mine because it's like, yeah, yeah, you can't really tell. It's super crusted over. All right. It's really, let's get, let's get drawing. So there's going to be lapses where I'm going to not talk and hopefully um, whatever I'm drawing is gonna be interesting enough that I don't need to talk my head off the entire time. I just need to, all I need to do is just to make sure I stay in frame. All right. And I apologize if my head gets in the way. This is new to me. 
but it's exciting. Um, I mean, one of the reasons why I started this channel is because, um, I just wanted to show more people the art of inking and then, um, also it's a format for teaching. Uh, I'm going to have some demo videos eventually. Um, and I also probably be dropping little pearls of wisdom, uh, with inking as a, through these videos as well. So I'm going to leave that highlight there. And not complete the, the eye. So, yeah. so it gives the illusion that there's a, um, a light source uh, hitting um, the bottom, the top of the bottom eyelid, if that makes sense. Our eyes are three-dimensional, folks. They catch light differently. Right. The cheekbone. Uh. No, it looks like I uh, started drawing the other eye, and then I realized I drew in a eye patch. Oh, that's good. gonna go all black anyway so whatever since I know this is gonna be black this hat right here I look at the camera there um, I can start um, one of the uh, techniques to it's like sharpen a uh, uh, um, a brush is to once you load it up is not to do that. Hmm. It's just to twirl it as you're passing down. Just give it a twirl. Yeah, well, looks like I uh, get to use some white owl on that part. Exciting. I have to drop that for a second. There's a bead of water that pulled up on the paper and then so make it, got on my hand and made it a little clammy, so. Sticking to the page. Okay. Let's try putting a little texture to that. I'm gonna leave that white. But I'm just gonna pop and leave these little doodads just to make it feel a little, have a little texture there. Make it feel dirty. Just right. looks like I'm just working off frame. Oh, well, I guess hopefully I can use this negative space over here for for pop-ups or anything like that that I failed to mention. Shoulder, of course, that's where seams tend to happen. So let's pop those in there. Stitching for texture. Okay, we need hair, 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 hair. Gross hair. So that means dry brushing all around. look like gross matted hair. I mean, they just, all they have is access to salt water on the sea, right? So that's not good. Yep. 
that most pirate movies, they have such pretty hair. Not always going to be the case there. Drink coffee here. Uh, sorry if that sounds gross, but it's really early for me. I'm a morning person. Wife is still asleep. Cat's still asleep. Probably need to set some music for the long periods of silence. But I have terrible music taste, so I don't know if I should be curating that. that. Try not to have the habit of passing my hand over an area just inked. It's not good. up there. Like that. You know it's there because I'm showing it to you, but most of the time people, there's just so much noise. Can't even tell. a very defined neck muscle. Let's <laughs> tone that down a little bit there. There we go. There we go. We have that way up. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh yeah, that's jewelry. Oh, it's gonna be flat black. Is it? No, I'm gonna make it white. Because this is gonna be flat black. Guess my styling, I try to... Because I throw in a lot of gray, so I have to... Make sure to go in areas like... Either where I want to recede or... Um, because I create so much noise when I create, that's my cat, if you can hear that, um, I create so much noise that when I do throw down just a flat black, um, it really pops um, in contrast, especially when there's white around it. All right, so, oh, poor Gizmo, poor kitty. Throwing in necklaces. <laughs> uh, she was on my pillow this morning. It just sounded like Darth Vader, but like a really cute cat version of it. Just like wheezing over me.
So we've been trying to slowly. Uh, yeah. Even though this will this will become black. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to see these lines uh, through that black um, as a guide to uh, when I put um, the white down. It usually does better with nib, not so much with brush for creating those guides. Oh, yeah, here's a gun. Oh. The most helpful has been uh, Tim Schmoyer's um, YouTube creators. YouTube video creators. I think that's it. Or maybe it was just video creators. But yeah, Tim Schmoyer. A lot of good advice. It's such an interesting time, honestly, to be an artist. Um, like, like I said, like you know, I'm trying to um, go out, do my own thing, strike out, be my own business. Um, I can afford to do that while I still have a job, and I realize that. So it's like, oh, I should probably. That's why I needed like uh, do. This, um, if I was going to strike out on a business, it's like now's the time I realize. But yeah, so. But yeah, there's just like so much out there. I mean, it's it's really nice for a creator, but and like to have access to all this free stuff, but that means everyone has access to all this free stuff. So it's like it's going to be interesting to like really just have to stick around long enough to rise above the noise. And yeah, hopefully you all like what I do. Um, getting into flat black time. Hopefully my markers I dried out. <laughs> I'll show you my markers when I get to it. Uh, can go ahead and mention them. Well, no, I'll just talk about one thing once I get to that point. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Rinse that off. Take a drink of coffee. Oh. Oh, it's the nectar of life. <clears throat> And I have to go back and like do the hair and stuff, but oh, that looks pretty dry to me. Let's see if the other one does any better. Okay, so these are do 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 the perma opaque uh, markers um, made in Japan, Sakura brand. Uh, they're great. Got two edges. Got your thick chisel. And you got your more rounded out, smaller side. Um, the reason why I got turned on to these is because uh, they're actual ink. Yeah, that's better. Um, it's actual ink. The issue with um, other markers, like uh, when people use permanent markers. Oh, just felt my hand rub into ink. So I'm going to go try to be go this way um, yeah so permanent markers the problem with that is that um, they're alcohol based and they eat through the paper over time they're not meant to be archival so they turn I have some uh, when I used it early on I have some uh, markers and they turn to like a, a blue color um, over time and not stay black. So these, you know, will stay black. <laughs> don't go outside the lines. And also don't rub on the inks. Hopefully my hair is not in the way. This one. Yeah, that doesn't. 
does not look good. So just sometimes it doesn't not look good at all. Just ink around something like these delicate parts where it's like the necklace. Oh, good. I can't see the necklace line. So let me. I'm just gonna go ahead and ghost over that because um, I can actually see. I don't know if you can see it too. Mm, I can't tell. Um, at least my own eyes, I can tell. Um, I can see the guides underneath the black, so I can come in with my white. Maybe more of a hard line that way. Cool. Uh, probably go more texture up there. Right. Here we go. Also, when you're in a heavy black area, you can kind of be, you don't have to fill it completely in, I guess. Like, you can be a little bit looser with it. Just allow, just to indicate that there's other shapes going on there. Oh, bring that back up. And over myself over. Just not my head. Just my stupid head. Let's see. Oh, let that drop. Bring it back. So the bell guard here. For the Seba. The Seba thawed. Show a little bit of that white come up. Okay, dokie, okay. so what do I need to do? Well, this needs to tone down for sure. So I'm gonna probably pop some gray in that, push it back. See, white shirt's fine. I gotta do that. The hair again. All right, back to the brush. Noise, noise, noise. It's a dude, so I don't have to have pretty hair, thankfully. That's what I like about guys. I can get a little bit more, like, grizzled with them, and um, I don't have to be as nice. I'm working negative around the Dash. Let's go up there. Now we darken that in. So usually, so once this is all done, pop it into the computer, scan it in, um, and then just take the contrast. So it just Everything becomes like a nice, like my blacks become just a nice flat black. So yeah, it's interesting inking because it's like, um, because it's an on-off medium. Um, it's either white or black, and then we can, as inkers. Uh, Someone who like who enjoys the ink medium can go and um, you know like through manipulation of the line can create uh, the gray tone. I'm not breaking up to stay in there. That was my chair. 
try this. Okay. Oh, no. where are you at? I'm lazy. Actually, I'm also out of white. My usual white. Where's that at? <laughs> My very, very sun damaged or something. It's a uh, Maxon. Uh, says comic ink barely says comic ink um white ja it's another japanese uh brand um you see maxons in art stores uh they they kind of do like they promote themselves with like the manga stuff all right so what am i doing with this i am attacking some noses so let's go for the nose here there you go. Pop that highlight in there. And then... Get some of this dried white out off. Come on. There we go. Need to get some of that white back. Oops, sorry, I think I put my head hair. Touch that. Touch the camera. Unfortunately, with the you can't be too subtle with white out. You kind of have to commit to it because it's such a thick line. But we can make it work. Or I'll make it work. Me and the I don't know why I say we. I do that a lot. I really, like the multiples of Robin. I feel like that's starting to get to the. Here then, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can see any areas to clean up. Not see. Do, 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 do. Yep. That very earlier mistake. Gone. And that's how we do it. Okay. Um, let that dry for a sec. over any white out smudge a lot because I hop around too much. All right, yeah, that looks a little better. Just because this is going to be mostly a, a pro -pro -pro there we go. Selling the original here. So I'm going to throw this up in the shop once it's done for anyone who wants it. But I figured some of you wanted to see how I go about my inks. Okay. So I have that done. What else do I need to do? Splatters. Actually, I think I might be able to tease out enough of this Max on White. Such a sad state. 
This is empty. <laughs> Breaks my heart. Where's my toothbrush? All right. Uh, I'm gonna go white, and then I'm gonna go for the black for next. This is my toothbrush I'm using. One I've had for a very long time. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can tease it out. out whatever white is left of this. Okay, okay. Yeah, with, with toothbrush splatters, it, they're nice to have. Oh, and sorry if my voice comes in and out. Um, I'm hoping the lapel mic is going to fix that when I move away from the mic and then come back. Um, <clears throat> but yes, what you need to do though is make sure scrap piece of paper. Oh yeah, I'll just use my workout cover. This is a, a workout guide uh, that I just uh, finished the first draft of um, at recording of this video. Um, that's going to be up in my uh, up in the store if you want to check it out. Let's see if I can hold this and hold this in place so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, just a little bit. I don't need too much. Not too much. Ah. No, no, I already see it. Do you see it? That happens. really need to not have enough paper towels just lying around here. If you're going to be inking, have a roll of paper towels next to you. There we go. This is a manageable though. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, one more. So that's what I usually get when it does splatters like that is when I accidentally get too close and like that top of the toothbrush touches the paper. Like, oops. Like I said, just, just little textures. There we go. It, it just helps. Keeps those. It's like flat black, but it keeps it alive. And this. All right. Um, yeah, if y'all could do me a favor and visit robinholstein.org, uh, probably a link is going to pop up on the video right now um, and <clears throat> make your way over to my website and subscribe to my newsletter when as a perk for my subscribers uh, and it's just a monthly news newsletter but it's gonna, you're going to have like the most up-to-date information there and about conventions I might be attending throughout the year and any new merchandise in the store um, and any like pertinent news that, that I think you all would like to know about, about like my career and where it's going. And um, also as a perk, I was talking about like, a, um, I'm gonna do an illustration and you all will get a digital copy embedded in my newsletter. Uh, and that's just gonna be for my uh, subscribers only and I won't be posting it anywhere else. So. Hopefully, uh, you all like that for the <clears throat> for those who do subscribe. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for going through, and if you actually made it through this entire video, um, and if, or if you skipped ahead, that's cool too. Uh, but I, I'm going to be um, getting better at these. I just it's just practice, honestly. Just like um, with drawing, let me frame that up better. Um, just like with drawing. Um, uh, you know, I didn't get better immediately. It just required rinse and repeat and repetition. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, there you go. Uh, whoa. So actually, 
line that out more to you. Yeah, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, I had fun doing it, and I am more than happy to share. And uh, if you all have questions, please leave them in the comments below, um, and I'll respond to the, your questions. And uh, yeah, um, more videos ahead, and just keep clicking, and um, let me know what you think.